Hey fellow cocktail lovers, today we are here making another Easter cocktail. This one is called the Jelly Bean Martini. So for this we're going to need three ounces of cotton candy vodka. I couldn't find cotton candy vodka, so we're going to make our own. So it calls for three ounces of vodka. So we'll just pour three ounces. That's two and one more ounce. Who hosts Easter in your family? We are hosting this year. My sister and I actually take turns. So this year is my year. So anything special that you guys like to make? What Easter drinks do you make for your guests? So because I couldn't find um, cotton candy vodka, I'm just gonna add a little bit of cotton candy to my shaker. This is an experiment, so we'll see how it turns out. And then we need two ounces of orange liqueur. So we're just gonna use a little triple sec and two ounces of that. Oh yeah, the cotton candy's already melted, so I think we're gonna be just fine. And then make sure your lid is on tight and shake. Do you make anything unusual for your Easter holiday? We're pretty standard, you know, ham, cheesy potatoes, um, and some good cocktails. So now it says to put some jelly beans at the bottom of the glass as a as a little fun touch. So we'll do that. Let's make sure we get some of each color in there. Oh, we need a yellow. Not enough red. Okay. And then we pour. Oh, that's pretty. Super pretty. And then garnish with a lemon wheel. I only have a slice left, so that's what we're garnishing with. And there you have it. Another Easter cocktail for you to try at this year's Easter dinner or brunch or lunch or whatever your family does. Let us know what you want to see or if there's something you want us to try for our Easter dinner. We'd be happy to do that. Make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel so you see these videos come out um, as, as we release them. Um, and until next time, cheers. This one actually is, it was intriguing me, but it's good. I think you could even add, here, I have a little more piece of cotton candy you could just put on top and let it melt in there and make it even sweeter. Now let's give it a whirl. Oh, that is really good. It's really good. So if you can't find cotton candy vodka, I definitely, I mean, especially this time of year, it was super easy for me to find a little bag of cotton candy in the Easter section. And if you wanted to change colors, you could totally use a different color cotton candy. This one just came in multiple colors. So you could just keep making it sweeter and sweeter. So anyway, you guys, until next time, cheers.